So is consciousness present, aware, when we are in deep sleep? No one's talking about dreaming here. We're talking about deep sleep. It's kind of sleep. It's like being anesthetized. You just don't have any recollection of it at all. It's such a great question because it's so fundamental to what I'm doing here in the human experiment, what I do with the books, and what I'm doing here with the channel. Uh, it, it reflects the most basic uh, confusion we have here in the West between consciousness and thinking. And it is so often confused. In fact, I'm going to do a, probably a longer video on this and give you so many examples. But here we see that very explicit uh, confusion because the thinking mind is a biological organism. And like all biological organisms, it has a cycle of activity and then rest. And so the more you think all day, and you've probably experienced this, the more desperate you are to sleep. And it's fascinating that long-term meditators, they actually only need to sleep four hours because they're not thinking all day. They're not using the thinking mind all day. So they don't need to sleep as much as someone who thinks all day. But when we get back to the fundamental question, is consciousness present during deep sleep? Um, Think about the, the thinking mind as someone at a party. And from their perspective, they show up late, they show up at midnight, and from their perspective, the party only started when they got there. And the moment they leave, the party ends. So that's the way the thinking mind uh, biases its judgments. It believes that nothing of any real interest happened unless it was actually on processing information and collecting memories. Uh, but that's the when you wake up in the morning, the thinking mind turns on and it says, well, you know, I wasn't aware. Nothing happened in the last few hours. And it feels like that from the thinking mind's perspective only. See, that's the gist of all this is that uh, thinking needs consciousness. But consciousness doesn't need thinking. And the only way uh, you're really going to get this experience is through meditation. And I did this in another video, but I showed you how meditation, all good meditation, is simply distancing awareness. It's a practice of distancing awareness from the thinking process itself. And when you're meditating, you're really just distancing. Maybe it's turned down. The thinking mind is turned down 20, 30, 40, 50 percent or something. When you're deep asleep, it's actually turned off. And that gives the thinking mind, of course, the best rest that it so desperately needs. But when you get that experience during meditation, it's absolutely obvious from your own direct experiential um, data that awareness is present. And when you can start to get that, you can feel how much consciousness is always present. And it doesn't matter if the thinking mind is completely shut off. Consciousness is always present. And again, Sergadatta and people have reminded us of that. But until you disconnect from the thinking process, you'll never actually believe it because the thinking mind is never going to believe that anything could exist unless it's uh, showing up at the party.